Hello, everybody, and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England, and we are coming at you today with a video on how you can receive motion alerts on your cell phone through the HIK Connect phone app without going through the painstaking process of using the SMTP uh, email exchange server. That's a painstaking process, and it's becoming even more difficult uh, with two-way authentication. So the way around that is these P2P uh, cell phone apps all now have what are called push notifications. And you can set up your phone app to receive motion alerts without any port forwarding or uh, setting up the SMTP email exchange servers. It's a very simple process. We're going to cover it all right now. All right, everybody, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. Also, like the video if it's useful to you, and as always, leave comments. A lot of these videos are based on subscriber and viewer questions and comments. Uh, so, yes, we have a camera shot that is pulled up. It's currently connected to a, uh, a Heek Vision NVR. Um, it's, it's snowy up here, so uh, we've got lots of snow in the picture. But what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the Configuration tab on your toolbar, and we're going to make sure that the event notifications are enabled uh, for this camera. Obviously, they need to be able to sense motion to send the alert. Okay. So right here we see events. And right here there is a box. Um, that you can check to enable motion detection. Okay, so we want to enable that, um, and we want to save that once it's enabled. The other thing we want to do is adjust the sensitivity. Okay, this is not a smart motion detection camera. Okay, Heek Vision does have AI, artificial intelligence, smart cameras that can sense um, people and vehicles, and most of the time nowadays people use those cameras. This camera was installed years ago. It does not have that technology. Um, so you'd want to adjust the sensitivity. And I would suggest about 60%. Uh, again, the reason for that, if you have heavy snow uh, or rain, or if there's wind and the branches on the trees blow around, we don't want that to trigger motion. Okay, so we want to lower the sensitivity. The other thing we can do is we can draw um, our grid in which motion will be activated when crossed. Um, so if you hit clear area, it will clear out your grid. Okay, right now no motion detection is enabled on this picture. Uh, but if we hit draw area, now we can square in the area in which if there's movement, we'll receive motion. See how this kind of avoids the tree branches and stuff? You could also do some in here if you want uh, and on this little road. Um, but, but that's how you do it, okay? So we've enabled motion. We're going to hit save. Now we are going to go to linkage method right here. And we want to make sure that email, send email, and notification center is checked off um, along with the trigger. Okay, this is camera one, so we want digital one or camera one to trigger uh, the motion or the alert. So we're going to hit save there. And that part is set up, okay? The camera is now set up to send live motion alerts. What we need to do now is switch over to our phone app. Uh, prior to doing that, of course, we want to install the HIK Connect phone app from the App Store. Um, and, and we're going to enable the push notifications for motion alerts, okay? So we'll switch over to a cell phone now and finish that video from there. All right, everybody, we have switched over to a cell phone perspective. And what we are going to do, we're going to open that HIK Connect app, okay? Once you do that, you will have to log into your HIK Connect account, okay? Adding a recorder or an IP camera to the HIK Connect app itself is a very simple process. If you have not yet done that, there is a video link going across the top of your screen right now that will walk you through how to connect a device to this phone app. Again, it's a very simple process. But the location that we are using for a demonstration 
has already been added. Okay, so I'm going to pull that up. And as you can see by the screen below, the motion alerts have previously been activated at this location. We actually had to adjust the sensitivity because the snowstorm was triggering it off, which, which I'll show you. Um, but what we, what we want to do is we want to pull up the camera that we want to enable the motion detection on. Okay, This location has two cameras right now. Um, but we want to enable motion on the main road. Okay, So what you can do on the top right corner of your screen, you'll see the three dots. Okay, When you click those, like I did there, you'll see the option, share, settings, add in favorites, and icon description. We want to click on settings, okay? And when you click on settings, you'll have a bunch of options, but one of them is notification. You'll see it's disabled. That is the push notifications for motion alerts. So we want to click this button and turn it on, okay? And you will have two options. You can receive events and push notifications and receive events but not push notifications, okay? So we want to enable both. The first one, as you'll see, it's checked off. Um, and you can enable the schedule, okay, which is set up in your recorder. Uh, the recorders by default are scheduled to record 24-7. This would be for a business that is busy uh, during the day, and obviously you don't want to receive motion alerts when people are walking around the grounds as normal operations. Okay, we want these alerts after hours when the business is closed and, you know, motion would be a irregular event. In other words, it could be an intruder, uh, could be a trespasser. We want to be notified of those events um, with this app, not necessarily everyday operations. It would be annoying to get these um, notifications constantly throughout the day. Um, so once that's set up, once that's set up, we can get out of here. And as you can see now, the notification line is enabled. And what will happen when there is motion on the facility, you will get motion alerts. As you can see, we have 67 of them uh, because of the storm. And as we did earlier in the video, we adjusted the sensitivity from 100% down to 60. And we've also zoned out just the drive, okay, to make it so the snow wouldn't set it off. But to show you how these work, we can double click on a motion event. And you'll see the snow. At some point in this clip, you will see a green box uh, that will indicate Danger. that trigger. Please skip away. Okay. And I didn't see it that time because I was talking. So let's, let's see if we can see it together. Middle of your screen, towards the top. Danger. Right there. Please skip away. All right. So that's how you could adjust sensitivity. If you're getting a false alarm, you don't know what's causing it, we would want to clear out that area. Okay? Because there's an opening, uh, as you saw, in between the trees where you can see that window. That's where the motion's being detected. Okay? So that is how you enable push notifications. Danger. Relatively Please simple process. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.